go and get started now. I'm getting his, his, you know, his old man juror to my team. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, just one player. And, um, the window resolution is kind of dumb. Uh, actually, let's pick let's pick something funny. Let's pick something kind of funny. No, I'll just do Andy. I'm I'm not feeling creative right now. And we're gonna do, we're gonna of course do a 21 question game. But uh, yeah, the full screen is gonna be kind of like this. It's gonna be like the square or whatever, like that. This white square. It's, that's probably the only. That's probably gonna just be the size of the game. Uh, and I'm I'm pretty sure I can't change it. So. And since this is a continued series, we all know how it works, so uh, let's go and get started. Yeah. One more time! Anyway. Okay, I need a category. Uh, I just, um. I don't even know who Cliff Calvin is. For your enjoyment, Cliff Clavin is back. There we go. I'm giving out three grand for a right answer. Okay, imagine this. The gang from Cheers reacts in horror at Cliff's bag of mail. Considering what is also called mail, what has Cliff done? Stuffed some guy into his bag, ripped shells off tortoises, skewered rabbits on a spit for cooking, or delivered green vegetables on his route? Skewered rabbits? Nah, yeah, I, I had no idea. For that great restaurant chain, tastes like chicken. Unless it's unless it's preferring to mail as in the male gender. The right answer. Mm. Not only does mail refer to letters and packages, it also refers to tortoise shells. But the gang cheered right up after they realized the tortoise shells would make great ashtrays for the bar. Exactly. But uh, yeah. Category, please. But I mean, I, I've been playing a few games here and there of this. And some of these questions we'll probably have again too, so. And you pocket two thousand bucks if you get this one. Okay, for this question, I want you to. Uh, hey, Cookie, come on, I'm doing the show. Oh, I got, I got your paycheck. Oh, oh, thanks, Ray. I thought we were supposed to get direct deposit. I don't trust that stuff. Can you, can you believe the taxes they take out? You know, if we got paid more often than every other week, we'd end up making more money. Really? Sure, more frequent paydays, smaller paychecks, smaller percentage of your taxes taken out, bigger net pay. So it'd be like getting a raise, huh? Okay, folks, try this. Under which pay period would I receive my paycheck most frequently? Diurnally, semi-diurnally, bi-weekly, or semi-weekly? Oh, okay. Um... Nope, diurnally means once a day. Like the vitamins. Like the vitamins, yes. I guess that's, uh... Let's see what somebody two. smart would have picked. Why'd you say that? Because they didn't get it right. So it's like they're dumb. Th yes. Yeah. Like they're dumb. <laughs> Go yeah. Ahead and tell them. Um, semi... S semi diurnal. Yeah. Is half a day or every 12 hours. Well, thanks for bringing my check, Ray. I, I gotta finish up now. Sure. Uh, so that's all you do is read this stuff? Oh, pretty much, yeah. How much they pay you? Get out of my booth, man. Get out. Monkeys I work with. Moving on. <laughs> that, was, that was very interesting. I need a category. I guess we that one. Bam! Bam! Bam, 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 da, da, da. May I introduce Santa Claus ain't feeling his elf these days. One thousand dollars at stake on this one. Hey, can Santa Claus call in sick? Consider this. Santa Claus is running a fever and Mrs. Claus won't let him deliver his toys this year. Because he also says ho ho ho, which product spokes figure could fill in for him? The hamburger helper helping hand, the Pillsbury Doughboy, the Jolly Green Giant, or Mr. Whipple? Please don't squeeze the wrong answer. Uh, maybe one. The big lump of coal. The jolly green giant is the big guy in the green shorts who says ho ho ho. Oh, the question is, how the hell is he gonna get down the chimney? Oh, I guess that is true, huh? Okay. I was thinking of the the phrase uh, green giant, you know, whatever. Uh, so I was being kind of dumb there. Um. Can't stop that no, you gotta have oh yeah. Okay, Good. give it up for psychology and Ugolosis. Two thousand bucks for a correct answer. That's psychology backwards. If you, could, if you didn't notice. Greek tragedy, the Oedipus complex marks the adolescent stage during which a boy craves exclusive possession of his mother. How do you spell Oedipus backwards? Oh yeah, let, let me take that away from you there. Okay, which of these spellings is it? Oedipus. 
I'm so dumb. I didn't. Let's see. I think it had an eye in it, so I'm gonna say. Nice. Okay, good. I was gonna say I know it had an eye in there. Very nice. Your mother would be proud. Yay! <laughs> All right, hit me. Very uh, Bee Gees inspired right there. Oh, what a relief is it? You give me a right answer. I give you three thousand bucks. Ready? Say you're a stone cutter. Did you say it? Okay. If you're carving a sculptural image that is slightly projected from the surface on which you are carving, which of the following are you doing? And by the way, this has to do with the way I'm pronouncing a certain word. Carving a fish in bass relief, carving a sheep in bar relief, carving a guitar in bass relief, or carving a bus in bus relief. Same. Slightly projected. Bow relief is a type of sculpture that's different than high relief and that the image is only slightly raised from the surface. Oh, okay. Not I have no idea what he just said there, but <laughs> Looks like this category is. Hey, that's not chicken. Get it right. I'm handing over 2K. Okay, I think I've had this out. question before. This conversation but I don't remember Mark the answer. Pearson, Dr. Sidney Friedman from MASH. Okay. It's driving me crazy, Sidney. I hate the idea of war, but I'm committed to fixing these kids so they can go back and fight the war. <laughs> so we respond. I'm intrigued by your cognitive dissonance. Oh, wait. That's probably actually what he said, I think, actually. So. Mass collective unconscious, or I just... you're worse than Narcissus. <laughs> that second one, though. Cognitive dissonance is the tension caused by holding two conflicting beliefs, like being opposed to war, yet patching up soldiers so they can return to battle. <laughs> I think I, that was a pretty good impression of Hawkeye, though, actually. Even though it wasn't like... I mean, just the, it was more like the way he was saying it was, like, it was good, actually. What do you do? Left nut kick. I'm sore. Oh no. Gibberish question. Fuck, dude. These questions Take always a look fucking at your kill me. Gibberish category. What are you doing after your presidential defeat? How about five thousand dollars to start this gibberish question? Oh no. All right. As soon as you know the answer, buzz in, cause I'm taking away some cash every second and a half. All right. Look hard and buzz in when you know. With what popular phrase does this rhyme? Clear away, your Ferraro. And remember, don't think about the punctuation. First clue, you can say it about a flash in the pan. Hey, remember Scritty Politi? Wasn't that one Fire away, no. You can say it about a flash in the pan that lasts for like one day. Final clue, where are you gonna be tomorrow? I think I'm Fuck, right dude. Here waiting for you to answer. Yeah, probably. It looks like you're just a one-hit wonder. Clear away, Jan Ferraro. Hmm. Ah, uh, so many vanilla I never... jokes, so little time. I, I swear to God, I'm so bad at those, I can never figure them out. Wow, that was an interesting one. Of the slimy and I've never actually heard that one, I don't think. Grand. Just step up and take a swing at this one. If Robin Leach were an actual leech, what could he do to help the rich and famous on his show? Provide an alternate burglar alarm system, fill out their caviar supply, suck on their plastic surgery scars, or naturally clean their jewelry. Leeches are sometimes used to drain the excess blood around plastic surgery scars. Yeah, that was pretty obvious. That was a pretty easy well, I one. I suppose the good thing is there's a lot of breast augmentation surgery in Hollywood. That was probably like the easiest question I've ever gotten in fucking in this in this uh, in this game. Aloha, question number nine. 
And I believe this one's called... It's a word! It's a plan! It's... How does $2,000 sound? Remember the electric company? Well, you'll need to in order to figure out this analogy. Superman is to tall buildings as Letterman is to what? Capital T, rolling O, silent E, or pinheads at GE. Just as Superman's able to leap tall buildings in a single bound, Letterman can do the same thing with capital T's. Interesting. If you can only get Terry Hatcher to play Letterman's wife, uh, I'd be watching Electric Company every day. All right, hit me. You, my friend, better start getting comfortable, because this one could get steamy. You're joining in on a three-way. Okay, listen up. This is pretty simple. You're gonna see a three-way like this one. Okay, we know how to play like the three-way. I won't bore you with my naivete. Let's turn this baby on. The category for you just pick one of the three options. What do you want? A metal? Or do you just want a three-way? Well, here it is: gold, silver, or bronze. Okay, hand on your buzzer. Here's your three-way. Oh yes. Sad life. That last one was kind of okay, sad. Okay, must stop. Can't take it anymore. Looks like we've reached our climax. Uh, now let's see how you scored. A little sloppy, but I still love you. Let's see what this earnest attempt did to your overall score. Well, it seems we're moving on now. Let's see what's up next. That's it for round one. Let's go to round... Just before I start round two. Okay. Two. Now remember, everything in round two is worth double, so heads up. I need a category. Yeah. Coming at you, broken toes and severe groans. Oh, no. This one can net you six thousand dollars. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get it wrong. Yell at you after they stepped on toys you left lying around. Suppose that the inventor of Lincoln Logs left them strewn all over his floor. Which dad would be the one yelling at him to clean up his room? Milton Bradley, Abraham Lincoln, Frank Lloyd Wright, or Woodrow Wilson? I have no fucking clue, dude. I don't want to say Milton Bradley, because it's going to be wrong. No, but Woodrow's son Brian did go on to form the Beach Boys. <laughs> Alright, I'm totally making that up. Yeah, yeah, just a little bit. That you wish you'd pick this. The architect okay. Frank Lloyd Wright's son, John Wright, conceived and marketed Lincoln Logs. Ow! Gosh darn that kid! One of these days I'm gonna... Frank, his toys wouldn't be on the floor if you'd build him toy chests without any damn windows in them. Wow. Alright. Okay, pick a category. Open wide and get ready for... Put that down! You don't know what you're doing! How does $4,000 grab you? Alright, this is a picture question. That almost... Good that question kind of worked out. For what would you use this object? That was kind of... Yeah, those both kind of worked together. Stoning cherries, plucking eyelashes, burning ants, or picking up something hot. Oh, uh... Burning ants? No, you need a magnifying glass for that. Or what? If you I guess plucking eyelashes. Should have picked this. Uh, you use this little tool to remove cherry pits. It's what? A stoner. Is that what a stoner they all look like? <laughs> they all look the same. What the fuck, dude? Category. There you go. The nose and O for the big 13! Let's see what we got going. Balls, balls, balls. 4,000 big ones for a right answer here. Oh man, I need some help here. I can't remember the name of this sports team. Damn. Hey, if, if you can think of it, buzz in and type in the answer, capiche? Alright, it's a basketball team. 
Uh, Wilt the Stilt Chamberlain was on it. You know, 76 is probably. World. <clears throat> kind of like Wilt. Oh, oh, yeah. Metal Lark Lemon is another player from the team. Make your move. Make sure it's actually spelled right. The Harlem Globetrotters are a basketball team. Wilt Chamberlain is an alum, and so is Metal Lark Lemon. All I gotta say about the Harlem Globetrotters, and I'm I'm not positive, but I'm pretty sure they fixed a few of those games. Wow. All right, hit me. When Harry met Geometry. This one likes to go by. Get a real job, Alice Cooper. Two thousand dollars says you That's don't so know true. this one. Hey, everybody, what an you know who Alice Cooper is, right? The king of 70s shock rock? Well, if mm -hmm. Alice Cooper reworked his old hit No More Mr. Nice Guy into a song about Coopers, what would make the best title? No More Mr. Wheelwright, No More Mr. Barrel Maker, No More Mr. Chicken Farmer, or No More Mr. Blacksmith? Probably wrong, but I'm gonna pick this one. Nope. Okay. <laughs> hey, got a minute? Take a look at a right answer. A cooper is someone who makes barrels. Yeah, hmm. I don't know, though. A huge barrel with flame shooting out the top just doesn't sound nearly as frightening as a giant skull. Oh, maybe it's just me. Okay, I need a category. You chose wisely, my friend. You just got your hands on a dis or dash. Um. The category for this dis or dat question is... Precious sitcom characters. Now listen up. I'm gonna read off seven names, and <gasps> I want you to tell me whether it's the name Excuse of a birthstone or the name of a Cosby Show character. If the name is that of a birthstone, press one. If it's a Cosby Show character, press two. And press four if you want to skip. I give you a thousand. Oh, okay, I we got that. Got this thing down. Well, I'll put thirty seconds on the. You got a thousand. Take a thousand. We get it. We got gotcha. you. dance. Opal. Oh, whoops. No clue, skip it. Sandra. Rudy. Topaz. This is it. Eat clip. This is it. Fuck you. You lost two of them, but at least you got the majority. Let's look at your total score. That was bad. And there you have it. Let's blow ahead. It's funny because I watched the Cosby, Cosby show and yet I was like, yeah. Need a category. Say hello to... I can't get this damn song out of my head. And it's worth $2,000 if you get this one right. All right, we all remember the Bible tale of Cain and Abel, right? Well, suppose yep. God had wanted to make Cain's life in exile even worse than it was. Considering Cain's punishment, which song would have been most appropriate to play over and over in his head? The Cars Drive, Dion's The Wanderer, Christopher Cross's Sailing, or Kim Carnes' Betty Davis Eyes? Actually, I don't remember what he did. Cain was forced to leave the fields he farmed and wander the land. Oh, okay. This, of course, is the Bible's parable for why God created the Walkman. <laughs> okay, pick a category. Number 17. Well, what do we have here? Barely alive from New York. <laughs> Play your cards right, you win 4,000 bucks. Hey, remember when the only thing you had going on Saturday night was Saturday Night Live? Oh, well, boy, I remember that. You, boy, I do. Here? I love that show. In fact, I got a question about it. You want to hear it? What do you think, boy? Well, all right. Well, well why not? You know, I, I think we've got ourselves a guest host question. Uh, welcome aboard, old man. <laughs> Great. I'm, I'm glad you're here. Oh, you mean now? Yeah, just talking to the mic. The mic? The, oh, this thing? Yeah, it's a mic. Okay, hello. One, two. Scooby Doo. Yeah. One, two, hello. Yeah, we got Mikey, that. Yeah, Mikey, we got the level. Sibyl, You're on. Sibyl. Give us a question! Okay. <laughs> if I were. Oh, excuse me. If I were to ask the oldest person ever to host Saturday Night Live out on a date, what would be my pickup line? Hey, go to my ear. You look cute. You're sweet, Candy Bergen. Nice blouse, Miskel Spillman. Or Dr. Ruth. 
What makes you cry? I have no fucking clue. Boy, are you wrong, boy chick. Go to my ear, never hosted Saturday night, though, 210. Learn a little trivia, why don't you? <laughs> <laughs> what an asshole. I'm curious. Here's the right answer. Miskel uh. Spillman. She was the oldest host of Saturday Night Live. You may be sitting at the keyboard wondering, who is this Miskel Spillman? Is she some kind of famous actress or a dancer or something? Well, no, she wasn't. She was a little 80-year-old hottie who won the Anyone Can Host contest. Hey, wait a minute. Anyone can host. <laughs> Hey, Cookie, that was fun. Can I be the host from now on? Yeah, you, no, you you cannot be the host from now on, but you can leave and take this thing, this what bag. With, what is that? <laughs> Don't even ask. Yeah, I'm out of here. Get, yeah, yeah. bye. <laughs> All right, hit me. This one's called, It All Started With My Mother. And get this one right, you got 4K coming your way. Let's rock. Which of these superheroes' reasons for fighting crime is the best example of the Freudian concept of sublimation? Captain Marvel being chosen by his elders, the Phantom inheriting the job from Dad, Batman avenging his parents' murder, or Spider-Man getting bit by a radioactive bug? Sublimation occurs when aggressive impulses are altered and expressed in more acceptable ways. So basically, all that truth and justice crap is a defense mechanism against hatred and madness. Now that's the stuff of heroes. <laughs> Category, please. Step right up for question 19. Bum, bum, bum. This category is known as Death in One Ear Leopard. <laughs> at 4,000 clams for this one. Shots okay, fired. Now it's time to get your eyes ready for a Kappa. picture. Look closely at this snapshot from a heavy metal concert. You know, Mom always said that music would make you go deaf. In American Sign Language, what is this heavy metal concert goer telling the band? You guys rock! I love you! In American Sign Language, this is easy. Combines easy. I, L, and Y, or I love you. <laughs> This is like that's, okay. Maybe that was the easiest question I've ever had. I'm just not ready for that kind of commitment. <laughs> okay. Somebody should really do that. That'd be funny. Wow. Twenty. The category? How'd you like to raise my barn? Get right <laughs> you're walking away with four grand. Okay, listen up. Let's say you're at the singles bar and you meet a nice Amish man. The Amish man at the singles bar swears that he's not married. How do you know he's lying? He's wearing black, he's wearing... Amish men shave while they're single. Then when they get married, they grow a beard. I actually knew that one. Don't ask me how I know, but I didn't know that one. He doesn't have a beard, though. Be careful. All those Amish guys want is to get you in the back of their buggy or a little roll in the hay. <laughs> All right, hit me. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to the Jack Attack. Keep your eyes on the screen, and when you see two words that match, hit your buzzer. If you're right, I give you 2,000 bucks. If you're wrong, you're going down 2,000. But don't forget, remember the clue. Not any old word's gonna do it. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Smurf accessories. Well, I'm sure those are cute. If you really like blue. Anyway, good luck. I guess it was diaper. Oh, okay, red clothing. Okay, okay. Glasses. Uh. Oh, no, it wasn't serpent. Okay. Actually, I'm not sure. <laughs> Trips over things. No.
What the fuck? Okay, I, I didn't know that one, so... Cell phones. Probably this French accent. No? What the fuck, dude? Oh, okay. Yeah, this is gonna be bad, man. Have to smurf. Mirror. Uh... Vanity Smurf. Easy enough. What the fuck, dude? Pies, okay. I don't know why that relates, but... Oh, yeah, okay, I remember that one. Not really, but... Damn, dude. I was at fucking 13,000 and I jumped to 7. Congratulations, player. You learned some very important lessons today. Most of which you'll forget in a few minutes. But as you make your way down that dusty trail we call life, remember this. You don't know. Nice work, people. Let's get those commercials.